Last year was the year of the rear. So what's the big trend of 2017? Nipple reduction. That's right, according to the Plastic Surgery Group, they've seen a 30% rise in this procedure. They project it will keep growing. Dr. Orden. Yes, we call it nip tuck. <laughs> <laughs> Women do not want the larger breast that they wanted maybe five years ago. Many women had enlargements in the past, want a downside, and along with that is a lift, a lift or a reduction. And whenever you do a lift or reduction of a breast, you're also addressing the nipple areola. So the, the nipple is that part that sticks out, the areola is that darker tissue around it. So you, you always want to fit the nipple areola to the size of the breast. We make an incision around the areola and shrink it down. And in general terms, I think a 50 cent piece is the ideal size for most breasts. Obviously a nickel, you're being shortchanged. I think that's a little bit, I think that's a little bit too small. But for some women, they have a nipple that, that projects too much. We can inset that. Some women have inverted nipples. We can actually correct inverted nipples to make them project again. But women with natural breasts, are they coming to you and saying, like, I want my nipples reduced? Because I've never thought of my nipples once. So I'm just curious, are people <laughs> asking that? For overly projected nipples, yes. And for really large areola, yes. But as an isolated procedure, Really not that often. Okay. It's best to do it after you've had your kids and you've breastfed. But sometimes, you know, when we do a reduction on a younger woman, she needs to reduce that size so they feel better. We do make that incision around the nipple. We tell them you may not be able to breastfeed. In all the cases I've done, they have been able to breastfeed if they want it.